We are in this house again, all together with all the kids. Cairo's back from Cape Town. My mom is here. So everyone's in the house and it is so amazing. It's crazy busy, but it feels so good to have everyone here. I am so I am any kind of person, whatever the job requires, that's who I'll be. If I need to be a handy girl, I'll be a handy girl. Okay, All right. You ready? <laughs> No! Ow, ow, ow. Don't make it skew. Because yeah, it's a long nail. Can it do one Ow. That one need to do but it's a long nail, eh? Okay, let me measure this one so long. Okay, I'm short. I'm going to be short. Ow. Zama! I'm going to Cairo, guys. As of when they had to work out, it made it. Cairo's been the only child um, for a long time, and it's important for me to make her feel included in this moment. And putting her paintings up on the wall will just tie that in. But also, Cairo's not easy to impress, so I don't know if this is even gonna work. Wow! All right, you did so well. Mommy might have hurt herself a little bit when she was putting it up, but Do you like it? Mm-hmm. You don't seem impressed by your own artwork, sister. Hmm? Let me make that one. Okay, oh. and then that one? I made it. And then that one? one? I also made it. Oh, you made it too? Uh-huh. That's nice. Well done, baby. Thank you. Yeah, well, I put it up so you can see it. I'm such a cool mom. What is that? A new sister for Cairo. Oh, So that's... they literally, like, write the story to prepare her for... Did you read baby. it? Yeah. Cairo, come read for Auntie Kim on page here. Uh, come on, don't no. be a lazy baby. Uh. Okay, man, this is because we must be talking about speaking. That's nice. Good again. Dear Cairo, we know that you will be the most wonderful big sister to our Santi. Wishing you a lifetime of magical adventures together. This book is just the beginning. Mommy is very proud of you. Asante is very lucky to have you as a big sister. We love you. Oh, Chuck can read, man. Perfectly so. You can read now. You can read. No. Lammy is Kenan's mom, um, Cairo's grandmother, but we're not allowed to call her a grandmother because she's fabulous. She is a Clammy. So, what's wrong again? Cairo, look at mommy. Look at mommy. It's cute, Cairo. <laughs> she's cute. You're cute. Okay. I definitely did not want to do a pregnancy shoot. But I, I now realize that I've been making a lot of decisions, you know, based on how I feel when it comes to this pregnancy. And I haven't been considering maybe Cairo, I haven't been considering Bongani especially, and the baby, because I feel like Asante needs to see, you know, some pictures of the pregnancy. Uh, it's important for Bongani to have this moment and for Cairo. So Debu Ho, who is my brother's wife, Zakele's wife, is helping me with this shoot because I was never going to make it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. My blood <laughs> circulation has been cut off. <laughs> Don't. Come, cry. Come, cry, guys. Come, mommy. Come, guys. Yeah. and I have a very close relationship. I think it started out as a 
oh, you have a kid with my kid. But we literally have developed a friendship over the years, um, which has been hard to explain to other people because they just feel like, you are just holding on to Lynn because you're trying to get back together with Keenan. Mm? <laughs> Thank you, Clara. Mm. So Clara's been teary now. She came back. She found uh, Asante's room because she hadn't seen it. So we repainted the room. She's suffering. Mm. She says, how come her room is still the boring colour? She told me the baby's room the is bigger baby, than yeah, my room. It's not bigger, man. It's just that... Like, it's bigger, but the thing is, I said... So I obviously said to her, I said to her, listen, mommy needs a little bit more space to sit and feed the baby and stuff. She says, no, but it's unfair. So... But you know what it is, right? It's normal. Is so this? you're just going to have to make special time now, especially now that it's close. You know, she's excited. She's counting down days, but she's going to feel more and more like, is this one taking over my space, that kind of thing. So the important thing is just to make sure that you have your time with her. I've spoken to Kenan. You've had the conversation with Mangani. They've both agreed that at some point they will obviously get together. We'll talk about... I mean, I think, no, I think we all are on the same page, though, that it has to be an integration for the sake of the children. I hope so. We have crazy ideas that other people just don't think are possible, especially when it comes to family of this nature. It's a difficult situation because everyone just feels like this whole setup of all of us is a bit weird. Like, mm. with you still being in our lives, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of you because you're the grandmother yeah, of this child. Yeah, you must get rid of me, man. But uh, I just feel like a lot of people are unsettled about just you being <laughs> around still. She's just looking at me. <laughs> You've been around still in my life. I have a child with yeah. Keenan, and this child has a family that I need yeah. to get along with, which yeah. is you guys. We actually have developed our own friendship over the years, but there's a different dynamic now. So we need to focus on what is good for Caro mm. and what is good for the baby, and mm -hmm. so that they have a good family dynamic. So now this baby is not your baby's side. Are you going to help with this baby? Of course. <laughs> you lie. Carla said to me. You lie. Carla says to me, Claire, <laughs> I will. I spoke to your mom, mm -hmm. like now. What did she say? Your mom says to me. So I said, are you ready? Are you staying for now? She says, yeah, but I know nothing about baby because my mom raised my children. Yeah. You have to come help me. <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> so I said to her, no, Zama knows enough about babies. Everyone has to help me. You know me. I take all the help I can get. She's the lady that I can call anytime when I need uh, help with Cairo. So she's someone that I rely on a lot when it comes to Cairo. Glam is just my girl, man. She's that girl. That's my mom. Like, she's a teacher, organizing the kids, teaching them the song. Kyra, I didn't know you knew the song. <laughs> she practiced. <laughs> <laughs> we were singing it at night. You were practicing. <laughs> Kyra singing a Zulu song. Love that. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I tell you, I Okay, let's close our eyes and pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.